majestic, fascinating, monumental, superbly beautiful Buckingham Memorial Fountain on the lakefront of downtown Chicago reflects the astounding magnitude and impressive beauty of one of the world's greatest cities. This is Chicago, a great empire set in the heart of America. Vast, vital, stimulating, spread over miles and miles of prairie land, bordered by the great blue waters of Lake Michigan. Over the broad acres of beautiful Lincoln Park, oldest and largest of Chicago's many parks. Spanned by a multitude of bridges, the Chicago River winds through the city an important link in an important inland waterway. Comprehensive city planning has made Chicago's lakefront a center of recreation and culture. On to Jackson Park, attractive setting of the Museum of Science and Industry. Here, deep lagoons offer hours of pleasure to Chicagoans. The United States Coast Guard enjoys the rare beauty of this park, too. We pass the luxurious South Shore Country Club on the way to one of the city's mightiest industries which symbolizes the force and dynamic energy of a great city. Chicago, a city of beauty, strength and power. Chicago, commercial capital of the nation, agricultural market and industrial center of the world. Chicago, the most American of American cities. Towers reaching to the sky, man-made mountains of steel and stone, engineering masterpieces. Chicago, creator of skyscrapers, impressive with such imposing buildings as Chicago's Opera House, majestic in its dignity. The world-famous Board of Trade. On LaSalle Street, the youngest of Chicago's towers. From observatories, millions of visitors have thrilled to the panoramic view of Chicago's skyline and waterfront. <music> Northwestern University's downtown campus of professional schools, including one of Chicago's great medical centers, and nearby, the Blue Towered Furniture Mart of national fame. Chicago is young in years, but challenging in its immensity. It is difficult to realize that only three quarters of a century ago, all this splendor was nothing but a heap of ashes, result of the great Chicago fire. Today, it is an empire, the culmination of the dreams and labors of great men. Men who sacrificed and worked unselfishly for what they believed in, their city. Chicago's beautiful lakefront, its extensive system of parks and boulevards, its centers of recreation and amusement, its outstanding educational and cultural institutions, as well as its inspirational towers of commerce, reflect the character and spirit of the city, the fiber of its people. Chicago has boulevards and parks unequaled anywhere. Miles of sandy beaches attract thousands. The city has 6,000 miles of beautiful drives, 
But this one along the lake shore, extending from Jackson Park on the south to the city limits on the north, a distance of 24 miles, is exceptionally rich in scenic beauty. Several miles of this drive have been built on land that until recently was below the surface of the lake. Vision and energy that is characteristic of Chicago has made possible the creation of this link in the Park Boulevard system. Northerly Island, site of Adler Planetarium. Shared Aquarium dominates the northerly view. Chicago's famed skyline, an imposing spectacle. Soaring towers, tall, proud structures overlooking Grant Park and the waterfront. Congress Street Plaza, most beautiful of its kind in the world. Modernistic in design, the impressive bronze Indian on horseback recalls the early days of Chicago's history. Michigan Boulevard, famous the world over. Its varied and well-known hotels and specialty shops attract visitors from all parts of the globe. This boulevard carries more than 55,000 automobiles on a normal day. Two modern landmarks of the city, the Wrigley Building and Tribune Tower. The old water tower stands with dignity and beauty in a modern setting, historic relic of the Chicago fire. An engineering achievement, this great outer link bridge provides an express boulevard over the Chicago River. On this outer drive, the motorist continues along the lake shore. On his left rise the towers of modern buildings known as the Gold Coast of Chicago. enters Lincoln Park from the south and nearby stands the famous portrait statue of Lincoln. Continuing on the drive through Lincoln Park, varied scenic attractions come into view. Attending Munderline College on Chicago's North Shore enjoy a lake stroll between classes. Their 15-story building houses a well-rounded educational program for women. Immediately adjacent is Loyola University, conducted by the Jesuit Fathers and offering a general university program for approximately 6,000 men. A short distance away is Northwestern University. Deering Library in the center of the 75-acre campus has over 600,000 volumes in its collections. The university is one of the ten largest in America. Its student body represents every state in the Union and every important country in the world. 
Another great university in Chicago is DePaul. The Shedd Aquarium, Georgian marble home of aquatic life, offers educational material to all who wish to use it. The mysteries of the starry heavens are revealed under the impressive dome of the Adler Planetarium, one of the few educational institutions of its kind. A Chicago wonder, the Museum of Natural History, a truly great educational institution exhibiting the treasures of the history of civilization. The Chicago Art Institute, center of Chicago's cultural life, maintains a large school of art. In the heart of Chicago is the great public library with its collection of almost two million books. Another noteworthy educational institution is the Chicago Historical Society. The Museum of Science and Industry, the only institution of its kind in America, exhibits the modern marvels of scientific and engineering progress of the world. The University of Chicago, the greatest research institution in the world, its gray Gothic buildings stretching more than a mile along the midway cover an area of over 110 acres. It has 900 faculty members and over 16,000 students. Chicago Teachers College, highest educational institution of the Chicago public school system, prepares teachers for the city schools. Chicago has 409 school buildings housing over 360,000 students ranging from kindergarten through the city college. These include special schools for the blind, crippled, and other handicapped. Technical, trade, and vocational schools fully equipped with the most modern training facilities simulate up-to-date shop and office practice. They are conveniently located to serve students living in all parts of the city. Chicago's 47 high schools offer a broad program of education. While the charm of the original architecture of some of these buildings has been retained, the interiors have been modernized to provide the efficiency of new buildings. Modern elementary school buildings conveniently located throughout the city serve approximately 250,000 children. These buildings also serve as neighborhood community centers. County Hospital, nucleus of Chicago's Westside Medical Center, is the largest hospital in the world. Municipal Tuberculosis Sanitarium on the banks of the Chicago River, surrounded by its beautiful gardens and attractive cottages, encourages its patients to spend a part of their time in the sunshine and fresh air. Billings Hospital, heart of the Great Southside Medical Center, is located on the campus of the University of Chicago. and Vaughan General Hospital immediately to the west at Hines, Illinois. In the same area, Hines Memorial Hospital serves disabled veterans. 30 modern buildings cover an area of 320 acres, the main building being a half mile in length. 
typical of the outlying shopping districts found in every neighborhood throughout the city of Chicago. A far cry from the old corner general store. State Street, principal Sutter Retail Shopping District, with its mile of noted department stores and smaller shops. Randolph Street, Chicago's Rialto, with its theaters, nightclubs, hotels, and smart restaurants. Machinery manufacturing, one of the principal industries of Chicago. Equipment produced in this modern factory has been sent to all parts of the world. This plant is the largest and most modern in existence, employing approximately 32,000 people and operating on a double shift production program. Chicago has supplied critical emergency needs with outstanding success. Large machinery plants are located in Chicago because of the abundant supply of skilled labor and because of unequal transportation facilities and proximity to raw material sources. Chicago manufacturers take pride in the beauty of their city. Most of the telephone equipment of the world is manufactured in Chicago. Printing and allied graphic arts, including newspaper, periodical, and book publishing, rank first among Chicago's industries in total number of persons employed and aggregate payroll. Over 600 periodicals are printed in Chicago, one-tenth of all printed in the United States. Chicago is the home of the world's largest mail order houses with an annual business of over $400 million. This great business serves more than one half of all the people of the United States and receives patronage from many foreign countries. The names of Chicago's leading mail order houses are household words known the world over. The nation's largest steel mills are located in the Chicago area. This is due again to the abundant labor supply, coupled with unparalleled transportation facilities and proximity to raw materials. Power for Chicago's principal industries comes from coal. An abundance of this essential industrial fuel is found in Illinois, which is the third largest coal producing state in the Union. More oil is refined and marketed in the Chicago area than in any other city. One-tenth of the total national petroleum output comes from the state of Illinois. Chicago is strategically located in the center of lumber producing areas. Its location on the lake, which affords cheap water transportation, coupled with the fact that it's the center of the greatest network of railroads, has made it the world's largest lumber market and distributing center. Chicago is the greatest meat packing center. One-sixth of the meat consumed by the nation is processed here. 125,000 sheep, 70,000 cattle, and 300,000 hogs can be handled daily. An interesting fact regarding the processing of cattle, sheep, and hogs at the Chicago stockyards is that nothing is wasted. Every part of the farm animal to the last hair is processed and made into usable products. This industry employs approximately 25,000 workers. The plant covers an area of 475 acres of land. The municipal airport serves as the air passenger and freight terminal of Chicago. Passenger travel through this terminal has reached the astounding figure of 56,000 annual landings and departures. 365,000 shipments of freight go in and out of Chicago by air annually. Nine principal airlines connect this city with every major city in North America. No point in the nation is farther than overnight from the Chicago airport. The one thing that has helped materially in making Chicago the second largest city in this hemisphere and fourth largest city in the world is its unsurpassed transportation system. Chicago is the largest railroad center in the world. Chicago has 160 large freight yards and 70 freight stations. The track mileage is greater than the total mainline mileage in 39 of the 48 states. 
39 of these modern streamlined trains arrive and depart from this city each day, serving both coasts and inland points. 10,000 miles of inland waterways serve Chicago and northern Illinois. An average of 25 million tons of materials is handled annually through these waterways. 13 steamship lines serve Chicago. Boats go to ocean ports by way of the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River or through the Illinois waterway to the Gulf of Mexico. Parks, forest preserves, and recreational centers of the Chicago area provide unlimited facilities for leisure hours of relaxation and enjoyment.
In a large city like Chicago, the homes are as varied and diversified as the city itself. Chicago, the city of churches. Almost every known denomination in the world is represented in the thousands of churches throughout the city. cathedrals symbolize the spirit, the warm friendliness, and the strong, fine character of a great people in a great city. Chicago, tall in stature, a city of inspiring towers, mountains of buildings rising everywhere, in the business district along the river's edge and on the lake shore. Beautiful to behold, queen of cities, overlooking the waters of a great inland sea with its ever-shifting moods. An enormous playground with broad acres of landscaped parks, miles of smooth sandy beaches and harbors sheltering yachts and white-sailed craft. Renowned educator providing unlimited facilities for learning, a city which safeguards the health of its people and through its medical centers serves humanity everywhere. A great provider, she gathers from the west, the north and the south raw materials for processing. She distributes the merchandise of the east, 
She gives to the world iron and steel, newspapers and books, vast supplies of petroleum, lumber for every need, and machinery which has revolutionized industrial America. Host to a million visitors annually, the transportation of a nation centers in Chicago. Chicago, a city where people live in pleasant surroundings. Chicago, a city warm in spirit, friendly to know. Chicago, a city of opportunity, progressive in spirit, confident of a glorious future.